Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another free Friday stock review from Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys are doing absolutely sensationally splendid this week. We have had some massive profitable trades, uh, especially from our last review. I did speak to you guys about Upwork, which is ticker symbol UPWK. So if you guys did get to profit from that, well done. But all the Real Life Traders most likely will be closing that one for a nice 2R profit uh, tonight. But let's talk about the broader markets, guys. The SPY. We did get a beautiful gap and go last night. We unfortunately did not actually roll over just yet. Volume is still dropping off, so I'm not overly convinced that this is going to continue higher. However, we are at a brand new all-time high. Once again, making history in the markets. Woo! Exciting times. Here's the E-minis. So the E-minis, we are... We are currently at an all-time high. Once again, decreasing volume. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see if this trend does continue. If it will, most likely we're going to wait for a breakout and a retest of this particular level at some point. Shorter term moving averages, you see we did come back down to the 50 EMA. And uh, if we do come back down to this previous level of resistance, most likely we will uh, look to bounce or at least get some nice increasing volume at that particular level. So keep an eye on that. Here's AMD. Now, we did get triggered into a weekly options newsletter trade on here. Hoping, hoping for a really nice gap up very, very shortly. Um, volume very, very stagnant at the moment. We are going sideways, um, but we are currently uh, we are currently in on this trade and hoping for this one to continue higher. We are bouncing off the 100 simple moving average. Volume is not bouncing yet, uh, but definitely one to keep an eye on to go long as we have been in this trend pretty much since August last year. You can see that right here back in August. We're pretty much around the same price uh, as then. So look out for AMD for a trade to go higher. Here's Wix. Now here's Wix. Now Wix, if you have been watching uh, a few of my stock reviews or if you are a part of Real Life Trading, you would know my synthetic long strategy that I did send out to everyone. If you haven't seen it, uh, here is the tr here is the trade setup right here. I did post this back in November, and I said if you do this combo order, set up the order for a limit credit of fourteen dollars. That's fourteen hundred dollars per contract or seven percent ROI from day one. This one is currently in the green. It does look to continue and go higher. We have been waiting for this kind of bullish flag to squeeze out, but as you can see, we are starting to break out of this beautiful pattern right now, this nice little descending wedge, descending triangle, and we are starting to break out. Earnings just around the corner. Am hoping for this one to rise up to the 350 level, and then we'll look to exit this position, but well done to everyone who did take this trade on Wix. Keep holding strong. The trend is definitely bullish. Next on the list is the ASX 200. Now, I did mention we were going to have a short-term pullback, which we did. And uh, if you did get to catch that dip here, I mean, sensational volume today. It was another gap and go. And we are currently slowly trading sideways at this point. Not overly bullish once again. Same with the broader markets. So once again, guys, I'm not overly convinced that this is just going to be something that's going to scream on higher. I do think we are in due for another pullback this February, so keep your eyes peeled on that. Volatility should start to come in very, very soon. Here's Kogan, ticker symbol KGN. Now, this one's one you really want to look out for. Reason being, on the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart, we have been falling for a little while now, already falling back from this previous high. 21% in the last two weeks. So, I mean, Kogan right now, 20 buy it for a 20% pullback, uh, for buy it for a 20% discount from last couple of weeks. Pretty decent uh, on the weekly chart. You can see, you know, we are still looking, still looking a little bit bearish. But the good thing is, guys, the volume is starting to stack in, which is absolutely sensational. So keep your eyes peeled for a nice little reversal. This one could be played as a stop limit buy. So that would simply be uh, an entry above here with a stop down below here and looking to, you know, mitigate your risk as the stock uh, trades higher, but hopefully looking to get triggered in and then get it as it rises higher. The one you guys have been watching for is Zipco. Now, you guys know I've been bullish on Zip pretty much since all the way back down here. 
Uh, well, for a while, actually, I've been bullish for this for a while. I know we, I did mention this, that, you know, Zip was going to pull back down to the 200, and we did. We had this beautiful little bouncing pattern, nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern, and then uh, as soon as we broke out here and we were consolidating sideways, I did mention to my traders in the trading room that this is going to most likely take off very, very soon. So as you can see, I did draw this uh, Mr. Squiggles line on that day, and uh, we are following it pretty much precisely as we speak. So Zipco most likely will start to uh, head on up back up to $10 very, very soon. And uh, keep your eyes uh, keep your eyes on a pullback if you're trying to get in, but if you're still in, keep on holding. Here's crude oil. Now, I did mention that this breakout is going to continue and that we would most likely trade up to 58. We're still on our way, and uh, from here, guys, I do expect us to have like a nice little channeling action at that point. Um, but crude oil, beautiful trend. Stay bullish on crude. Gold is pulling back, everyone. So we actually did close below the support level at 18.28. However, our next support level is right here. So we are back at a previous level of resistance and a previous level of support. This is going to be a very key level to watch. If you take a look at the hourly chart, actually, we'll go back to, yeah, we'll go to the hourly chart. Have a look at the hourly chart. You can see, you know, we've been down here before. We are starting to uptrend. Volume starting to increase here. I mean, we could definitely start to roll back down, uh, but it's just going to be a very, very interesting level. You do want to wait for this candle to close on the daily. See what volume volume can kind of come in before you make your decision on gold. Do not trade gold just yet, um, because if you take a look at the dollar index, guys, here is... Uh, here is the dollar index starting to move back up to the 100 simple. So I did mention this inverted head and shoulders pattern that we may continue higher or at least start to reverse here. But we have rejected this in the past. So I would just kind of hope that this is going to happen again and then we roll back down and then gold will start to trade higher. And last but not least, we'll look at the Aussie dollar. I did mention back here we were going to go lower. So well done to all the Forex traders or yeah, all the Forex traders who did profit profit from the AUD dropping. And uh, right now we are just consolidating sideways, building a nice little support. 75.50 does seem to be a very nice support level and a very good level to buy. And uh, shorter term moving averages, it is currently at the 50 day EMA. All right, guys, I'll be back next week. If you have any stock tickers you would like me to look at, leave it in the comment section below and I'll review them for you next week. But until next time, guys, have a fantastic weekend. Love life, live life and trade it. You guys rock. Bye.